What's up, Internet? This is Sinus Media here. And I've just dropped a long video the other day on programming byte beats in Edison. And just for a change and to relax, I'm going to do some short music oriented rather than programming oriented videos. I saw Benedict Roth Marsh had a video the other day where someone had asked him a question that kind of on the face of it seems a bit weird, but actually I thought it could be quite interesting to talk about. So the question was, how do you avoid doing four on the floor beats? And on the face of it, that seems pretty obvious. If you don't want to do four on the floor beats, you just put your kicks not on the four. So you don't do this. You just say move one, you put one here. Um, and then, you know, maybe you commit to that sort of pattern. And then maybe you try and fit the hats around it. And now you've got a groove. I, this is a groove I would like, I would like to dance to more than, you know, standard house or techno type. Because it's got that feel that it's sort of starting regularly, but it kind of speeds up manically halfway through. So, you know, you can just sort of put something. This is a little bit, as I understand, like kind of Jersey club music these days. It's a little bit like uh, the, the kind of early 2000s UK garage kind of evolving into grime. There was this sort of sense of manic craziness because the, the the beat wouldn't stay regular it would just kind of speed up halfway through and yeah that would make me dance that makes me want to dance a lot more than just standard four on the floor so all you've done is you've put a kick you just don't put the kicks on the one two three four just put them somewhere else try it again let's do it over here how would this work maybe we can kind of play that off against the hats Maybe slow it down a little bit. Slowing down is always good. Okay, there's another groove. I mean, what you're going for in any of these these beats is you're going for something that that isn't just a regular pulse that has this lolloping off kilter asymmetry about it. That gives you groove. That gives you something interesting to play with. Um, obviously, the classic is hip hop. We'll slow this right down again to sort of classic hip. Hip hop tempo, 96, something like that. So, again, you know, this is not, there's no swing, there's no kind of formal, uh, there's no trickery with the timing. It's just, just taking that, literally that kick away from being regular, putting it late halfway through that third beat and you start to feel the whole energy of it and of course you know in what you typically do is you'll do a second measure like this kind of late 80s feel and then, you know, you can just start playing around. You can put your... People are calling these ghost notes. I didn't know what a ghost note was, but it seems it is. The kind of extra kicks, the extra things for the bounce. It's even a bit quieter sometimes. Let's make that bounce. You know, you've got some pulse, your pulse... I mean, the thing about hip-hop is, you know, the kind of pulse, the regularity often move into these hats. And then, particularly today, 
I mean, I'm not going to try and do a trap beat or a, a, a drill beat today because yeah, I would reveal my, you know, how out of touch I am. But the point about those beats is that you put the kind of pulse on the hats and then, of course, you start playing around on the hats as well. Drill, allegedly, you start putting these one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. Of course, that happens at double speed, and I'm not going there today. But yeah, again, you know, you just don't put the kicks on the one, two, three, four, and then you've got a different rhythm, a different groove. Uh, let's do something else. Let's do drum and bass. So, how does the drum and bass go? Well, the drum and bass, you just put the snare there. Oh, you've got to take it fast, though, of course. Put it at 140, 140, even faster, 160. It's actually the same principle as the hip hop, right? But it will put a load of hats in there. Same principle as the hip hop, in fact. It's just hip hop, hip -hop breakbeat speeded up. That's the origin of jungle and drum and bass. So it's not surprising. There's a kind of slightly different one. Oh yeah, right, so we pull the snare. That gives us the other classic jungle drum and bass. So back in the 90s, there was a lot like this. You've pulled the kick too early. You've also pulled the snare with it. Increasingly, though, drum and bass just seems to go back to being this. Speed it up, hip hop. I like this one more, actually. When this came out in like the sort of 93, 94, everything was sounding like this. It was it was amazing feel with the clubs. A bit slower as well, it works. You need to shape it a bit. A lot of this stuff you can't really get away with with these sounds. You need more specific sounds. Uh, what I'd need if I was gonna really do something drum and bassy. A, a proper bass for a start. Where's a where's a proper bass? Depth core. Yeah. I'm not even a drum and bass drum and bass guy these days. I mean... I don't really, I'm too old. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm, I'm too old to, drum, to dance to this stuff in clubs. This speed is way, way beyond me. Let's make that unique. The thing about drum and bass these days, it really got very, very, very Regular, didn't it? Oh, so that has to be fast, so it really work. Yeah, if you're if you're actually gonna do if you're actually gonna do drum and bass. But again, it's it's not conceptually hard, right? You don't put the kick on the one, two, three, four. <laughs> that's that's the big secret. So yeah. It's quite fun to make a couple of those beats. Uh, you're not going to catch me making drum and bass. I do not have the energy for it to dance to it. And if I don't, you know, I make music that makes me want to move, makes me want to dance. So, you know, it's mainly hip hop, broken beat, slower things. Although this Jersey stuff is good. I like the Jersey stuff from what I've, I'm hearing of it. If that snare is right, but works for me. That's it, guys. It's another short one, and thanks for watching again. Uh, leave a comment if you like me to do more kind of beat oriented, music oriented ones, or if you're more into the 
programming ones. I've got a lot of programming ones scheduled, but I'm kind of experimenting here. I just want to sort of mix them up a bit with things where I just talk more about music to kind of kind of give this perspective, you know, both sides of it. I mean, I, I want to make weird, techy, experimental sounds, but I also, you know, I, I think it's worth talking a bit about music too. But tell me what you think. Thanks a lot, uh, and I will see you soon.